G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I wanted to run through um, temporary access passwords for Microsoft 365. So what this means is um, instead of having to reset a password or reset a multi-factor code when you as a like IT administrator or maybe a managed service provider, which I am, need access into account, like you might need to access um, to set up a user's email. So this way, if you're using a temporary access password, you can actually configure like connect Outlook or maybe enroll a device into Intune as the user, but without having to reset their password or to get their password off them. So it's good practice not to be storing clients' passwords or end user passwords that are not your own. And also not to be resetting multi-factor or changing phone numbers or bypassing the built-in mechanisms to be able to log in. So if you want to find out more, there is this, um, Microsoft uh, Learn article here, which I'll link in the description about enabling temporary access and all of that. Um, so let's go into the Entra Admin Center, which used to be called the Azure AD Admin Center, but they've renamed it to Microsoft Entra because, you know, Microsoft love to rename things when everybody gets used to it. So you'll have to enable the policy before being able to use this. So let's go away, away. So uh, it is under protection authentication methods policies. So we go protection authentication methods policies, which there we are. And then temporary access pass. So it's enabled here. So it's already enabled for all users. So that's good. Without this, you won't be able to actually use it. Now, let's say you wanted to use a temporary access password. Let's go to all users. So let's say I wanted to, you know, log into a user's account to and connect Outlook or something like that. So let's go to Alex and we'll go to authentication methods. Now in authentication methods, you can like change a user's multi-factor multi -factor, uh, phone number if you want to, um, and you can reset their password, but that's gonna reset that for them. So that means like, let's say we needed to access the account so we reset the password, that means that their password's not going to be able to be used. But we want to do that and we don't want to reset the password, we just want to set up their laptop for them. So let's go add authentication method and we'll choose a method and let's go temporary access pass. So in this thing, we can say delayed start and let's say you wanted to set it up for tomorrow for use, you could do that, but we'll just do use it now can set an activation period and whether you can only use it for one time. So because it's a temporary access pass, it's only temporary. So out of the box by default, it is only gonna last for the amount of time that you specify. So here we go, we're set for two hours. Click add. So here we go, now we've got this temporary access pass right here. Let's just store this in a notepad for a moment. Oh, no. So I've just chucked that onto my clipboard. So now I've saved that temporary access pass. We can see there, here's that temporary access pass. Now let's actually go and try and sign in as this user. So I'll go um, portal.office.com and let's grab his username from here. So I'll copy Alex Weber's username. And here we go. Temp it's asking for the temporary access pass. So bang. If I was signing in with the user password, so the user can still sign in, but here we go. And there we go. Now we've just signed in using that temporary access pass. So if you're in like, you know, you're like you're an IT 
support technician or an administrator or you're in an MSP environment, this is a great way to be able to set up your users' computers, OneDrive, Outlook, enroll a device, connect a device into Intune, like say you're pre-setting it up for the user. So it's a lot better. It's definitely the way to go, not, uh, not having to reset the password or to call the client and get their password and get their MFA token, get their MFA keys or any of that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. In a couple of hours, this won't work. So you only have the access temporarily. So you could use this and, you know, give that detail to someone else. Say you had a junior tech that doesn't have access to the admin portal. You can go bang, create this temporary access password, give that password to the junior tech, let them set up the computer for the user. And um, they never even need to access anything on the back end. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more, and I'll see you in the next video.